This deal cost over half a million dollars and it's projected to return over 2 million. Let me show you why. Today, we're reviewing a real mineral deal that we closed in the DJ Basin. And I'm gonna walk you through everything that I look at. Acreage, operator, existing production, future upside, permits, and drilling activity, and whether this deal was a buy or a pass. People overcomplicate mineral rights. Once you know what to look for, evaluating deals becomes simple and repeatable. All right, here's the actual deal. This was 108 net royalty acres in the Southern DJ Basin, bought through two separate transactions from next door neighbors. This is in Arapahoe County, Colorado and it's an area actively being developed by Civitas Resources, one of the most aggressive drillers in the DJ Basin. The wells directly to the west were drilled in 2024 and had initial production or IP rates at over a thousand barrels of oil equivalent per day. That is a big signal when you're evaluating drilling upside. The total cost on the deal was just over $500,000 or about $4,600 per acre. That number matters because the value of minerals depends on existing production plus how many new wells the operator is likely to drill in the future. So how did we review this deal? Step one, we took a look at the location. Just like with surface real estate, when it comes to mineral rights, or as I like to call it, subsurface real estate, it is all about location, location, location. We don't buy minerals everywhere. We are very selective about where we spend our time. And if I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times, 95% of all drilling activity in the US is directed to horizontal drilling in the shales. And that is where I spend 95% of my time. The DJ Basin in Colorado and Southern Wyoming is one of those places and we spend a lot of time looking for deals there. And this deal in particular was in an area of active drilling. That's why we picked it. And you can see that this tract is completely surrounded by existing producing wells. We call this a white space deal because at some point in the future, the operator is going to come back and drill up that white space inventory. Step two, we reviewed the existing production. There was one existing well on this acreage, and that means a few things. First, it means that the land is proven. A well has already been drilled and we can evaluate the performance of that well to understand whether and when that operator is going to come back and drill more. It also means that we can easily confirm how many acres that mineral owner owns because we can review their revenue statements. And finally, it means that we get to step into some immediate cash flow. But the real upside is still ahead. So the next thing that we reviewed was future drilling upside. This track sits directly east of the Civitas wells drilled in 2024. So if the operator drills even a handful of new wells across our tract, our return profile is going to explode. Okay, so the next step was to model all of the cash flows. When you evaluate mineral rights as an investment, you have to look at three things, volume, price, and time. Volume means the total amount of hydrocarbons that are gonna be produced through existing or future wells. And so this analysis is based on production statistics from offsetting wells. Price means the price of the commodity. And in this case, we're talking about oil, natural gas, and natural gas liquids or NGLs. And our final component, time, means when are those future wells going to be drilled. And we scheduled out those future wells based on a conservative development timeline in order to build in some cushion. When we put the deal all the way through our model. We forecasted that the property is going to generate over $2 million in total revenue, which is a 4X multiple on invested cash or MOIC on our money. So is this a good deal? I want to hear from you guys down in the comments. In my experience, having done a lot of these, this is a very strong deal. We bought this deal in front of the drilling and at a discount. The rock was already proven. The wells just to the west were posting monster IP rates, and we are sitting directly in the path of future development. That combination is exactly what drives multi-million dollar mineral deals. In fact, we just received notice from the operator a few months ago that they are planning to drill this property at some point in 2026 or 2027, which is right in line with our timing forecast. So for beginners, remember, it's all about location.
buying ahead of the drill bit is a very strong acquisition strategy. You wanna follow strong operators and you wanna study well production on neighboring tracks. If you do that, you stop guessing and then every deal becomes a math problem. If you wanna learn how to evaluate mineral deals just like this, step-by-step step using real data, I'll give you my first training module completely free. The link is in the description for this video and I will also pin a comment down below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to drop me a comment down below telling me whether you think this is a good deal or a bad deal and also what you think I should break down next. We'll see you next time.